All right, guys, we're getting ready for the big day. So the fenders are off, the hood is off right now. Nothing is on the front. Literally, the door is off because of the crease. All of it is getting painted. The door, the two fenders, the hood. Oh, this is this is so exciting. Just, we are not far from getting this thing on the road. So, <clears throat> hopefully, um, today is Thursday, uh, Friday night. The panels are supposed to get primed. Saturday, we're hopefully going to end up painting them. And Sunday is just full fix the truck and get it back on the road day. So unfortunately for my purple truck, it never uh, cruised around with a little black two-wheel drive. But ever since I've had this truck, I had to put windshield pillars in it. And I have the, for the newer style trucks, the 97 windshield pillars right here. I painted black myself. And finally, when we had gotten that black truck, here we are. When we had gotten the black truck, it, uh, had the wind well we had to put windshield pillars in it and we found some in the junkyard and well essentially we put them in the truck because my truck was probably at the body shop waiting to get the frame straight and all that there's the original white the truck was so you can see it right up there anyway we're gonna be swapping these pillars with the more square ones that belong in this truck and it's gonna look so much better and here we are the trim has been acquired uh we're gonna grab it off to the other side I threw the uh, the round windshield pillar trim in here, but you can see the difference. You know, this has a lot more definition, so we're gonna go slap this in the purple truck right now. And here we go. We're slapping this in, and there it is. The OG trim that's supposed to be in this truck. It looks so much better. It looks a lot older too. Really, really happy with that. Now I gotta do that side. As you can see over there, there's a, there's a bird freaking out, but the purple truck panels are painted right now. And we are about to assemble the truck. This is so crazy. Here's the new, what the new hood looks like. Oh my God, it's all painted. It looks beautiful. It literally couldn't have came out any better. That is so awesome. So we're gonna be uh, slapping this on the truck too. So first things first, I need to get the radiator support mounted down on both sides. I gotta find a nice bolt for each side, put the little uh, bushing in. Throw some washers and a nut on. I gotta do the other side as well. And we are going to throw the battery in right now as well. And for that, we have our plastic tray. I can go right down. And on top of that, we have this little mat. This kind of helps uh, with corrosion. It's a little insulator. And then we'll throw our battery right on top of that. We are going to cut our battery mat to fit. It's okay if it's cut a little short. We just want it to fit in there. Just so it can do its job. So I'm gonna cut this down now and throw the battery on it. So at this point, our battery is in place. It's just gotta be tightened down the right way still. We've gotten the uh, bushings all tightened up for the radiator support. One really cool thing my uh, stepfather did is he painted the inside of the valve cover. And I think that's like the sickest thing ever. Like legit looks so cool, like I wanna preserve that. So that's, that's awesome. That looks great on the truck. But she's uh, slowly coming together. One of my next steps is Hooking this wire up to the distributor. Uh, it just broke off, probably in the accident. Right, so one of the next steps is we're going to take our negative terminal. It grounds off the engine, grounds off the chassis, and goes to the negative terminal. We just gotta remove this 10 millimeter uh, bolt, put this down right here, and put the bolt back through and attach it to the battery. So I've been working on this video for a long time. I don't know why I never reassembled the headlight buckets. I just didn't have time to, I guess. But I repainted the whole back of the housing and everything. I uh, Unfortunately, I'm running a Wagner and a Halogen uh, brand lights. They're sealed casings. Um, eventually, I'll switch to both Halogen. But we're going to plug those in now and put the four 10 millimeters in place. I cannot express how excited I am to be putting this aluminum radiator inside of the purple truck. So we're walking over now. And we're going to go slap this in the truck. So all we gotta do to fit that radiator in is pop these little rubber gaskets in place, put the radiator on top and put our mounting brackets up here. That already looks beautiful, this aluminum radiator. Anyway, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to put the fan on now. We're gonna, put, we're gonna put the fan shroud in, try to put the fan on, put the fan shroud up here, tighten it down, then apply the fan shroud everywhere we need to. Um, after that, obviously we have to put our pulley on first before putting the fan on and we're gonna run our belt as well. So it'll all make sense once it's done. All right, so here's some of the progress we're making. I need to send Lexus to the parts store. She's grabbing the little nuts I'm gonna need for the studs to hold the fan in. 
Until then, I'm placing the hood latch in. I'm gonna try to connect that right now. I gotta figure out how it runs through the uh, radiator support. Basically, once I get the fan in place, I can tighten down the radiator shroud. I can tighten down the brackets for this. I'm gonna start applying the coolant hoses, put the coolant reservoir on, and all that's done. I mean, probably one of the hardest things. I mean, it's not even a hard thing to do by any means. And uh, probably put the bumper brackets on pretty soon here to get ready to get the bumper on. But I mean, everything is going just so smooth right now. All right, sorry guys, it's hard to just film and like try to get this thing all together at once. So I'm just gonna keep giving you progress updates. We've gotten the passenger side headlight in. I actually just put this uh, coolant reservoir on. It's another aluminum one with the aluminum radiator. I think it looks great. I just gotta tighten down the bolts, the nuts for the fan with the crush washers. Start applying all the hoses. Oh, this is so sick. And um, then I can uh, mount the radiator. Progress keeps getting better and better. This hood prop is hopefully temporary. I gotta go pick up my brackets from the powder coating place. I just uh, haven't made it over there yet. But everything is really, really coming together. I mean, everything down here is all set. The belts, the pulleys, the radiator support, the fan shroud, the fan. Um, and I mean, oh, I wish I could show you guys what this looked like clothes. It, it, it just looks so good. I'm so, so happy with it. There's the other fender. Right here is the hood all painted up. And um, yeah, I, I'm excited for you guys to see this truck with the factory style hood. Also, we got our bumper brackets on now. We have the horn in place. We're gonna come back to this because we're having a little bit of issues with the uh, the latch. It's not, um, here's the factory one. It sticks out straight and this one's all bent up. So the hood's hitting it. So we'll figure this out when we get there. Well, here I am with the exciting video. Everybody's been, uh, wanting to see we have all the panels on except for the cowl obviously we have the bumpers and everything i still gotta lower down the truck it's up on jack stands right now still got a lot of stuff to do gotta make sure i tighten up all these fenders a lot of bolts i still have to put in place but wow this is so awesome it's crazy um i was hoping to have it uh on the road tomorrow i think i'm gonna just really take it slow hopefully tuesday night we'll have it on the road it gives me two more days you know there's no rush at all i mean you know, having it on the road a day early and accidentally forgetting something isn't worth worth the trouble. So this is this is beautiful though. I'm so happy with it. Good morning, everybody. It is the next day. It is now uh, Monday. We uh, ended up taking a break on the truck yesterday. I went to a barbecue with some friends. I've been working on the red truck steady, trying to get it together. So now I'm back out here with this truck. What I'm gonna start with is making sure all the fenders are completely bolted down. And I'll, uh, I'll let you guys know what I do next after I do that. The fenders are tightened down, and now we are going to put our one-piece chrome bumper on here. Might be a little tricky. Um, it's probably the hardest part that I can imagine we're going to try to fit on here, just because the frame was already pushed. It was straightened back, though. Um, we had to straighten out some brackets, but I'll let you guys know how this uh, this goes on. It is already starting to come together with the bumper. Look, you can see my boots in the, in the in the chrome right here. Like, what's up? It's so clean. I love these new bumpers. One thing I forgot to mention, I usually always do with the billet vents just to, for a cleaner look. I usually shave this bracket off right here. So I'm gonna take my cutoff wheel and cut that there. Cut that right there. I gotta go find about three more nuts, but the bumper will officially be in. I mean, these, if I could recommend any one modification, whether you go black or chrome with it, I really recommend the one piece bumper. They are really, really strong. They hold up to a really good hit. So big, uh, big shout out to this. I think this is one of the biggest things that kind of saved us from like further injury in the accident. All right, that is beautiful. So now the next thing we got to do is put these corner lights in. Now to put these in, I'm going to need these little, uh, these little rubber pieces. Basically they go inside the fender and it allows the screw to essentially have something to grab onto so you can mount your corner lights. So right over here, I got our new corner lenses. Always love the way these look. And another tip really quick too, before I get too far into this, is I always swap out this orange bulb for the regular halogen. It still flashes kind of an orange, but you don't see the orange through the clear. So you can see it right here. Also, I forgot to mention, this is our blinker. Usually your blinker's down here. I just swapped the switch to up here or the, the wiring to right up here. And basically you have your mounting points now. We just take our screws, put this in place and screw it in. And for that side, um, I tried swapping just that little clip over to here that I have, you know, the light housing and everything with the wires. For some reason, I don't think this is getting power. So I'm going to wire test this. I'm gonna see if I'm getting any uh, positive power to this and figure out maybe where a line may have gotten cut or 
something like that. So we'll get there though. So in just the last couple months, this is the new bumper and there's the old one. This is literally like what the bumper should look like and what that one looks like. Big difference. The only reason I brought this over is I just need to take out the bolts and one of these uh, little rubber things so I can mount the plate. Um, obviously, this is not the plate anymore. Funny enough, if you remember our previous video, I ordered new plates uh, two weeks before I destroyed the truck. So here it is. This is the new plate going on the front. I, lo I love this plate. I think it's so sick. It's so much better than just a regular daily plate, but let's get this on the truck. All over down on the ground, she is looking great. We got the plate on. I gotta mess with that little bar underneath there still. That's why I lowered it down, but wow, she is looking amazing. We still have the front lift to put on, but I'm not gonna put that on until after the front end alignment. Until then, um, I'll probably put the bumper vents in for now. We'll test fit the grill. I still gotta figure out what's going on with that light, tighten the bar, and then lastly is the cowl. Um, I gotta put the little P-tones in the hood. Um, even though I don't have a washer fluid set up or anything like that, just for looks at that point to fill the holes. We have um, the cowl to put on, the wipers. I have to put the corner piece on right here. And there's definitely some other small things, some wiring to do. But I mean, for the most part, this is looking great. We still got to mess with the coolant too, a couple hoses to run. There's still a lot to do for sure. Just kind of saying it all as a mental note, but wow, it, is, it looks amazing. I think I, I think I like it a lot more without the cowl hood, to be so honest, but we'll see how it looks once we get the grill on. All right, so this one's really small. I showed you guys how to take them out. It's just as easy to put them in. We got the little pitons. I'm not using a washer fluid setup, so these pretty much just snap into place. Just wanna make sure they're on there straight. Bam, good to go. So I think I know why this light wasn't working when it was, uh, when the blinker was on. Because I'm thinking that this down here is the connection I really wanted. My bad. I'm gonna plug this in and see if it works now. All right, boys, we're gonna call that a night right there. We got the vents in. Um, I just laid this in place with Travis right now. The last thing I gotta do to drop it on the ground is tighten up this bar down here. And we will uh, pretty much be able to just tie up the rest of the engine bay, get this thing started, get it to the front end alignment shop. We're gonna get coolant in it too. I'm gonna take off the radiator cap so I remember that. And I wanna change the oil before I leave. But that's gonna do it for today's uh, work. We will be back out tomorrow. This already is like such a big success. Wow, this is crazy. I just got the grill on. We got the bar underneath on. I came back out here, it's like 10, 11 at night. But we are just uh, pushing through right now. There are some little black clips that actually need to go under this that hold this in place. This is not in yet. I'm just gonna play down the uh, the screws and see if it opens the, uh, the proper way. We wanna make sure we got our body lines right. But man, it is coming together. All right, so here we are. Like I said, we got the grill on. Now we have the cowl and the vents in place. Lastly, we're gonna throw on the wipers. And I think that's it cosmetically for now. Maybe the fender flares before we go on the road trip over to get the front end alignment. All right, so now we have the wipers on, the grill on. I mean, it all looks complete now. I could literally go drive it like this. <clears throat> we can open this up real easy without hitting the cowl. So I guess all we got left now is tuck up those wires for now. The underglow will be another video and get all this electronical stuff tied up, get it all connected to the battery, connect the coolant hose, bleed the coolant, you know, get coolant in there too, and um, possibly oil change. And we will be good for the road. After the front end alignment, I'll put the front lip on. So we're waiting for a friend to stop by. That's why we haven't burped the coolant just yet. But until then, I've already changed these 10 millimeter bolts with the Carbon King uh, dress up bolts. So I'm really liking that already. We have them on the front here too. I'm loving the aluminum radiator. Big, like big, big fan of that. Now we're gonna change over to this side and finish these up. And here we go, the reinforcements have arrived. They are all going to be helping me finish up the truck and get it on the road. All right, here she is after about four or five months of not running, she started. We had a little bit of a tick, but once we get the new oil in there, I'm sure that'll go right away. It's just old oil. Things are still trying to get, you know, the oil it needs. It's old gas too. So we'll put some uh, some additive in there and go fill up the tank with some fresh gas. I happen to see it running though. That is 
crazy. It's like a whole new truck now. All right, and here we are after letting the truck idle to make sure everything was running right. It stopped ticking. We're gonna be underneath here doing the oil change real quick. Get this thing just on the road. We're gonna do the front end alignment next. And she is on the road. So this is great. We took it for a little beat run and it just drives so smooth. So I'm cruising over with Mason, Shaq, Ramey. Gonna go bring the purple truck to get the front end alignment. We just got the uh, oil all changed. Make sure my hood is closed. Oh, I love the way this thing looks. But we're gonna go run over there now. Got a good little drive and then we'll go to OOB tonight. Miss those nights in this thing. And lastly, all we've done since uh, yesterday, we went out, got the front end alignment done. We got the uh, new lip on. That is a separate video that's going to teach you guys how to do it if you don't know or want to know how to do it. But that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for checking it out. Thank you so much for everybody's support along the way. We are so thankful to be back and have the truck like this. Stay tuned for more vlogs coming your way now, now that I finally have my ride back. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.